everybody, welcome to the vlog with your favorite girl, Momi Mohapi, also known as the host with the most. I thought I need to share something with you guys, it has been quite a minute. Um, I just come from another shoot of my show, my weekly show on the Free State channel online, or Free State online channel um, called The Basement, where I'm just basically sharing some motivational stories to change your life. So today we're going to talk about something new about post COVID-19 and it's definitely called there's a new commodity in town and guess what his name is? His name is definitely essential. Right? So let's get this party in the road. It's going to be a quick one because I miss you guys and I thought you guys really need some of this insight. Remember to subscribe to my channel right now and um, hit the like button somewhere now and let's get the show on the road. All right, so previously we used to believe that, you know, supply, um, you know, needs to meet the demand, right? Um, and we always believed in, you know, about uh, authenticity, you know, our products were stemmed around, you know, how beautiful it looks or how expensive it is or, or the kind of the stature that it gives, you know, if you own a certain branded uh, product. But nowadays, people are actually reviewing that. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely on that bandwagon where... I'm second guessing everything before I spend it because you need to realize, um, I think with the COVID-19 and with the lockdown, we now know that um, what is essential, um, essential services, essential, essential products is definitely the new normal. It's going to be part of the new normal um, and you need to make sure that if you're going to start something new during this time um, and for the future, it has to fall under the category of essential, I think. Um, I think all the other things that we used to do are going to be perceived as just luxury items or luxury products that are not essential um, to help us survive. Um, so there's a few things that I want to share with you and basically what to consider um, and why I'm saying these things. So um, my little black book, of course, is here um, uh, because I obviously jot, jot down all of my all of my thoughts. Um, but basically what happens is now is whatever business um, proposal that you have in mind or business idea that you have in mind, you need to consider the fact that it needs to be relevant to what is needed right now. So. I mean, this has always been the core of, of marketing, the core of, of product development is, you know, you need to ask yourself, is it relevant? Is it a product that is needed? Um, obviously, because then that's when you create the demand and then you give the supply of it. Um, and right now, life is different, um, you know, and after the lockdown, life is still going to be different. Um, and I keep on saying as well, I told a friend of mine the other day and I said, you know, today we've got Corona, but in a couple of years, we're going to have another outbreak and it's going to be maybe a climate one. So when you do these things, you kind of have to think really long term um, because what Corona has taught us right now is that it's important for us to start planning and thinking about the future and really taking what we read into like real perspective and try and limit as much exposure to it as possible. Um, because with the coronavirus, you know, someone mentioned somewhere that there's going to be a deadly virus, but no one really took action to kind of see what measures we can put in place for it, you know? Um, I think now with insurance, they're probably thinking of, you know, a type of protection for this, for income, type of protection for this, for businesses, in case there is a disaster, another national um, disaster that's declared in a couple of years. Um, but I, I don't know, I have a feeling that it's going to be a climate one. I'm not a climatologist or anything, but it's just like my feeling in my gut, you know. Um, so you kind of have to be prepared for these things, you know, um, because that's just, that's just part of the new normal. A lot of new things are happening right now and you need to consider brand relevance um, um, right now for, for your target market. So it's part of the new normal. Um, I think the most thing that I want to just mention now, it's a quick few notes, but there is something that you need to consider. So you've got your business idea, fantastic. But now what's next? You need to kind of put yourself in the shoes of your, of your customer and think of your product or service in this way. You need to consider number one, their um, disposable income. You need to think of the pressure on disposable income going forward. Will my product or service fit in that pocket? Um, you know, if it's too luxury, I'm telling you now, luxury products are really going down. I read an interesting article the other day where the motor um, car industry, I think it was Mercedes-Benz, they were saying that a lot of their clientele is coming in to trade in their luxury vehicles for something a little bit more, they, they're basically downgrading their vehicles 
because they realize that um, the cost, you know, it just, it just doesn't justify the need anymore. Um, and money's tight right now. A lot of businesses have lost a lot of money. People are losing their jobs. Um, so they want cars that they can actually pay off, that they don't owe the bank anything. And they want cars that are just practical, that are cheap on fuel, that are big enough for the whole family, you know, uh, but still at a lower margin than, than before. And, you know, so I'm not sure who's still driving Lamborghinis. It's probably the guys with the big cash, but right now, the most important thing that people are really worried about is every rand that's in their pocket, where is it going? Um, and no one wants to um, sit back with the notion of regret, you know, after they bought something and then they have a bit of regret that they shouldn't have done that because that money is needed elsewhere. So if you position yourself in that market, you have to consider disposable income and where you can fit in in that disposable income. Okay, so a lot of luxury stuff is going away. I mean. I love shoes, um, but it's not practical for me to go and buy more shoes because the shoes that I have are enough. Um, it's a luxury item for me. It's one of my favorite things, but I realized that it's luxury and um, I, I just can't afford it. You know, there's other things that you need to prioritize right now. Okay, cool. Um, and then you have to consider your competitive landscape within that segment. So your competitive landscape within your area. So how many people are offering this service? already this essential service and product um, because what's gonna happen is if there's just too many of us um, that's just it you're not gonna get enough clientele so try and find a niche within the essential service that you know that in the essential products and services realm you'll be able to kind of like you know uh, produce and you'll have um, so, sort of like a monopoly to that well look it's 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 imperative like it's 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 almost impossible i don't like using that word but it's almost impossible to guarantee that you won't have competition but don't go do what everyone else is doing go do something that you know is still a niche uh, but it, it falls under the, the the disposable income cap and you know that it's not seen as a luxury item but more as an essential um product or, or service okay so when you do your competitive landscape just you know look at you start with your neighbors okay see what your neighbors are doing because we also want to create healthy competition um it would be nice if you've got people that you know that are in the essential products and services um industry and they're already producing something in there that let your product or service actually complement theirs and that's when collaborations and partnerships partnerships can also be you know uh, brought in um, in that realm so we don't have people that are competing against each other but we actually have products and services that complement one another to obviously um, serve the, the, the immediate uh, basic need all right um, I like that actually if you've got people that do for instance shopping bags you know um, if you've got someone that has a shopper bag then you could maybe as a seamstress um, collaborate with that person and do branded um, masks that match the bag because you know that's still it's still like it's not luxury per se it's an essential service but let's make it nice you know uh, wearing a mask i don't know about you but yo this wearing of the mask thing is quite hectic you know um and if you're a fashionista like me you would love you know for your mask to match your outfit you know i don't want to be out of sync but also the mask has to kind of share your a little bit of personality because you can't show your smile anymore People can only see your eyes so let them let them get to know you through your mask and then if you've got that friend of yours that has a branded uh, shopper bag then you you know you you, you create a, a collaboration like that don't go and try and do a shopper bag as well if you know that your thing is masks you know what I mean that kind of healthy competition and that competitive landscape is kind of what you need to consider in this time as well all right and then um, you need to think about your brand so when we speak brand you know a lot of people get a bit confused they think when you say brand you're only talking about your logo but no it's actually more more uh, of a su sustainable brand comes in where your logo you can envision your logo on if if your essential uh, product or service is maybe like i don't know bottled water i'm just making a very crazy example then you need to think of is this logo going to fit on uh, a, a bottle um, and then if I want a bottle carrier is this logo going to fit on there so when you do your branding and you do you start creating your logo because you have to do that I would suggest that you consult a graphic designer they also need they also need the income guys um, go and hire a graphic designer that can do a whole body of work on your brand to kind of see okay so this is your product um, this is the kind of uh, you know a journey that you're taking with your product so if you're going to uh, start using your brand, it needs to fit 
within it it must be in unison okay i don't like seeing a corporate brand you know slapped on a bottle of water it makes no sense at all so it needs to be retail kind of brand mentality if you're going to go into obviously that kind if you're going to go into a water bottle i'm just making an example out of that it's very important that you consult with people like myself um you know people that really conceptualize brands and strategize on brands to help you um don't short change this because when you're starting something new you have to have the full thing in, in mind okay i think by now you already know what you want to do so you probably need material you need business proposals you need a logo you need kind of like um what we call um i forgot the word but basically a, practical examples of what the product will look like uh, there's a word for it but I, I, like it's just slipping my mind oh my gosh i need to start reading again yeah i need to start reading again um but yeah so this 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 section this this part of your brand is very important consult with the brand strategist okay we are not expensive right now we're actually very cheap right now because we saw that it's a need a lot of um, upcoming businesses and new startups need this and obviously businesses that are already in existence that need to pivot or recreate a brand um you know we are here to help you okay cool um and then i'm going to talk about those that are pivoting right now or those that have existing products you need to kind of think of innovative ways to enhance your product um to make your product more relevant so um i know right now samsung is thinking of bringing back the vr sets um because now what happened is people are kind of sharing a virtual reality kind of content so it, it would be nice to bring back the vr sets remember we had those and then we never used them and then they were taken out of the market because we were not ready for that yet but in the new normal we need that and this is perfect for your live artists that are doing these live performances um to have a vr set just to bring the show alive it would also be nice for you guys to do the home workouts if you do a home workout make sure that you take your video in a way that when someone has a vr set on they can follow you nicely um and that's basically like where we're going guys like virtual reality is going to be a thing you know of the now so think about that when you are um thinking of your business product or, or, your, or your service okay um, and then what i've also picked up now is a lot of people are coming up now with nice e-commerce um solutions just google them but i like remember i mentioned standard bank the other day standard bank has the perfect um e-commerce solution for you for your product to, st to start selling you things online because the reality is uh, not a lot of people are going to be in shops anymore i don't even know how the malls are going to survive um you know with having empty shops because people are not going to afford the rent so there's just so much adjustments that have to happen during this time um but the most important thing for you to remember is really the new commodity is essential so what is an essential service and what is an essential product okay everyone is doing ppe right now from your mask to your gloves to your sanitizers to spaceships <laughs> i've seen a lot of things to the sanitizing booths you know if you're gonna go that way remember whatever brand you are creating it needs to fall in line with the product offering that you have and that's about it give me a like if you enjoyed it um, make sure to subscribe to my channel there'll be a lot more content coming your way thank you so much for watching hope you wash your hands sanitize stay home and stay safe i love you guys so much my name is moe mohapi also known as the host with the most